Hey, BG Rides here. Thanks for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and change the drive shaft oil in my 2013 F6B. Going to be putting in some new oil. We'll do that work uh, right down by the back tire down there. And uh, the manual says you need to do this about every 24,000 miles. Um, I'll take a picture of the page in the manual. And it kind of gives you a little extra info than what I'll probably tell you. But basically, you just need a little bucket to catch the old oil. You need a syringe with a little tube to help get the oil in. You got a wrench, 17 millimeter, new crush washer, and just some rags. But uh, I went for a quick ride because it's so damn cold right now, thinking I need to warm up the oil. Let me know down in the comments if I actually needed to do that. But uh, let me set up a light real quick and we'll, we'll get to it. Okay, so this guy right here is the plug, your drain, and then this guy right here is your fill, which is the cap, and we're going to go ahead and take this guy off first, and a 17 millimeter wrench works good. It's not going to be that tight. I got the bike on the center stand, which is a step they happen to mention, they mention in the manual. Just use a bucket underneath, a little plastic bucket or something to catch the oil. You probably won't get any that comes out here, maybe a tiny bit. And you can kind of see right here there's a little o-ring on there. Just make sure there's no damage to that. And wipe this off real good. Take some fresh oil when we put this back on and put some fresh oil on that. We'll just use a bucket and then we'll use the same 17 millimeter wrench pop the plug off oh that bad boy was tight just about popped you in the face if you were the camera so take your plug out. There you go. Let that drain. And then one of the steps, I don't know, here's the crush washer. This is crush washer pick up a new one it's the same one that um, that you can use for your oil plug when you change your engine oil it's the same crush washer so just let that drain real good okay one step they mention in the in the manuals when you're draining your your oil your old oil to turn the rear wheel I don't know what this does. Maybe it turns the gears inside here. Helps get rid of that last little bit of old oil. I'm guessing that's what it does. But, uh, like, I don't really see any more oil coming out. But I don't know how long you have to do this. Maybe just a few times. I guess about that much and then just go ahead and after it's done draining kind of wipe this off and then put your new crush washer on there and then go ahead and put that guy on Like that. And then what they say is torque this to 15 foot pounds in my manual. My manual's a 2012. 
It's probably the same thing for this 2013 F6B. I'm not sure though. You might want to just check that with your manual and see what it should be, but I know roughly what 15 pounds is, so 15 foot-pounds. That's about it right there. Perfect at 15 foot-pounds. And then the next one is you got to get your new, you got to get your new oil into, into this. And it's, okay, let's take this guy like that, take the new oil, and <laughs> better plug the end, fill it up. Take the cap and then just put this little hose on the end of it. But basically, that's, I guess, your poor man's syringe, turkey baster. This one comes from, I think, a hardware store for like two cycle oil for mixing oil. But that'll do. Okay. And then just get the tube up in there. And you don't have to pump very hard at all. Just get the oil going up in there. I just leave my drain here in case some starts filling, spilling out. But just take your time pumping it in. I think it'll take the whole syringe and maybe a little bit more. I picked this oil up at the Honda dealer. I think it's like five, six bucks. New crush washer. I don't remember. Maybe a buck. But it's pretty cheap. Quick, quick and easy replacement. You don't have to pay anybody to do it. And it's kind of fun working on your bike. But okay, there's the first one. See if I can set this up again and okay. Got the second syringe. Pumping that guy in. It's probably harder loading up the syringe than anything. And we'll stop filling when the oil starts coming out the, the spot right here. That means it's full when you get to that. You see the oil start coming out? So there's the second syringe. This oil is kind of thick. My bike's got about 30,000 on it, but I had already done this before at about 24,000. So, thought I'd make a quick video and show you guys. Can't ride right now. It was snowing this morning. The snow didn't stick. It didn't, you know, snow much at all, but still cold as hell tomorrow's supposed to be a little better but can't wait for some good weather get out there and start riding all right so the third syringe we're about two-thirds of the way with a third syringe and it's coming out quite a bit i'm going to turn the wheel i don't know if you should or not but I don't know if that helps get any new oil into anywhere, but 
I'm just pumping what's left of the oil in there. I'm just gonna let that drain out a little bit. So it took most, it took most of this bottle. So had a little bit left in there. You can take some of that new oil, wipe it on the O-ring. For me, for some reason, the 17 millimeter wrench didn't fit really good on this hex felt like it should be a different size the manual says a 17 is the right one but just felt like it was not the tightest the 17 fits good on that guy but anyway so it looks like it's all full so we'll try and see if we can get our oily hands up in here and kind of wipe Wipe this off just a little bit. Sorry about blocking your view. Get a wrench on it, turn it. Fingers are too oily. Boy, this is an example of how to do it messy. That's for sure. And this one, you don't need to tighten that hard either. I don't know if you're supposed to use 15 foot pounds on this one, but. The metal kind of seems soft, but I'll just go ahead and snug it up real good. It's not that tight at all. And then wipe it all down real good. I can tell you, this little guy sure has done its work. This little gremlin bell. It's kept all the gremlins off of this bike. If you don't have one, I would get one, that's for sure. Because I have had basically zero problems with this thing. Check for leaks. But yeah, like I was saying, get yourself a gremlin bell. It's an important deal. It's the number one thing on your list to take on trips. But that's all there is to it, people. I'll throw the picture of the the page out of the manual. My dog can hear the bell ringing. <laughs> he wants to go for a ride. But anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, see you guys on the next ride.